Hello and welcome back to Legends of the Dead. Before we get into our War with Novgorod, I want to answer a question from the comments. This question is, what is our goal? Are we just going to become a king, switch religion, become feudal, expand as fast as we can? What, what are we aiming for? Well, here's what I want to do. First of all, I want to become a kingdom because a lot of interesting stuff opens up when you become a kingdom. You get access to royal court, you get access to, for us, blots, you get access to all sorts of little things that just aren't available. Same with becoming independent. You get access to a whole bunch of tools which just aren't available to you as a vassal. So, that's why I want to do that. Step number two, I want to change our religion and I want to do that as soon as possible because I want to get to converting the land as soon as possible because if you leave it a while, you find that you have a lot of land which is all not your religion and then you have a very slow task of actually converting it. We don't want to deal with that. We want to convert to a religion, make it the way we want it, and move on. Same with culture, really. We want to get a culture in a way that we're happy with it, whether that involves merging it, maybe that involves just reforming it, whatever we need to do with the culture. We want to pick a culture, and we want to go with it. It's kind of just that for all of it. We want to get all the things that we want to convert done as soon as possible, and then we can kind of slow down a little bit. We can start looking at, at legends, start looking at the new systems, and start seeing how we can play around with them and do interesting stuff. My main goal for this series, and it's kind of in there with our court, is trying to slim down our court to the point that is really, really good, and then bringing in new good people and figuring out how do we can do that well, right? How can we bring in good people into our court constantly, how can we make it the most efficient that it can be? Can we have excellent people in every single court position? Can we have the absolute best accolades? Can we do everything exactly the way we want to do it? And that's kind of what this is going for, a little bit of precision. But in order to get access to the precision and the way that we want to do things, we need to expand and become a kingdom. So that's roughly the plan. So. Let's go and have a look at Novgorod, who I believe are walking over here to run their army into our armies. Hmm, that doesn't seem like a good idea for them, but it seems like a fantastic idea for us. They do actually have a lot of troops. A curse undone? Um, the guy who became our rival last episode is dead? Alright, well I'll take it. How long have we got to the siege? 50 days. 50 days, huh? Hmm... Interesting. I'm wondering whether we keep sieging or whether we break it. I think we have to break it. Ideally, they go for these guys, but I'm just looking. How, how long is it going to take him to get to the next province? Can I see that? I thought you could if you were hovering over an army. Maybe it's only your own armies. Uh, but let's say it takes him six days to get here. He's going to get here before we finish our siege, but that's okay. Uh, can we... Um, oh, can we assault it? Walls must be breached. We haven't breached the walls. Well, we'll keep going. Maybe we breach the walls. Let's see. They're backing off, actually, which is a little odd. They're attacking. I'm reinforcing. Please back back me up. Please back. Don't don't keep going that way. Cancel your movement. That's horrible. Okay. Well, that's fine. We're committed. We're backing up his siege. It's not so sure. Where are you going? <laughs> Why are you? There we go. The moment we entered a battle, they realized, oh, wait a second. We have to be in this thing? Oh, man. Okay. So there, Oh, yeah, you can see. I guess you can't see if there are multiple armies. Ah, you have to hover over the individual army. Ah, oh, there you go. Anyway, two days till they get 700 troops, and then they're, like, waiting a little bit. So these guys are probably going to arrive roughly the same time. Uh, we're going to absolutely absolutely destroy this guy. I mean, yes, he has better uh, commander advantage than us, but he has three champions, one of which has zero prowess, which means he has two champions. Um, yeah, he's getting absolutely destroyed. I'm going to zoom out so the banging noises are less banging. Okay, next group comes in. We're continuing to destroy. He has five champions, but, I mean, again, it's like four. We have 28. I mean, yeah, sure, some of ours are zeroed, but, like, look at how many good ones we have at the top. So let's keep going. A scheme at court. 
My spy master is coming to me for discovery. She is certain that my guest Reko is scheming against my champion Ali. All right, um, throw him in jail. It's fine. Doesn't bother me. So we're still winning. This is looking really good for us. We've only got 177 casualties. They've got 675 casualties currently. That's fantastic. It's just went up by quite a lot. And a little bit more. Their army's going to commit soon, which is going to be really, really, really bad for them. There are Oh no, their armies are committed. So what's going to happen is their troops are going to be uh, destroyed. Our reinforcements are going to come in and they're going to attack us. Oh, that's oh, that's not a good situation to be in. Yeah, well, they, it is the same battle, which is a slight advantage. Like, that's kind of okay for them uh, because they had one champion left, which means that champion is included in the battle, I think. But... The problem is, we are quite clearly absolutely destroying them, and we're going to keep doing that. We have 35 champions now, they have 13, one of which has zero, which is good. Um, we do have some of our men-at-arms not doing very much, but all of their men-at-arms should be countered by something. In fact, look at this, they're countered by uh, our light footmen, so they're only doing 89% of the damage. Our light footmen are going crazy. Uh, which is great for us. Okay. Yep. Well, keep going. Yep. They keep losing troops. Uh, to the Winsome Hall High Singer, your tall, unfurled brow is a balm for my weary soul. I wish only to be by your side, that I may know the depths of your love. You put Apollo to shame. These lines are but a bleak reflection of my feelings for you. I'll do anything to prove my loyal affections. Who? Who are you? Random person? Um... I mean, you can attempt to win my heart, that's fine, but who are you? I mean, I guess you could stay in our- if we want you to stay in our court, we could just make you our concubine. Yeah, okay. Uh, you know, hang around. Right, back to the battle. We continue to destroy them. So we've lost about 1.6, they've lost 4.6. Now, that's not the end casualties. That's just the people who are currently routed, but yeah, that's not good for them. <laughs> so, yeah, they had 2,000 dead to our 793 dead. They are going to reinforce, but that was definitely not a good battle for them at all. This guy would make a good commander? In what world? I Actually, I suppose he would be fine if he was leading the army, but of course we're going to lead the army. But yeah, in what worlds? I'm not good. Oh, I suppose he is a military engineer. No, okay. Let's let's ignore that guy for now. Do we still have max champions? We do. We didn't lose a single champion, I think. Or if we did, we had backups. Our alliance has expired with this guy, but we now have her in the war, and that's fine. Her troops are already over here. We've taken over the siege, I think. What 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 are you doing standing there? Why are you not standing in the safe territory? Okay, well, keep sieging. There's plague. Swedish fire, which has appeared in our in, which appeared in our land in Swinland in in Finland. I almost said uh, Swinland there, which is not correct. Holy fire. Um, well, that sounds horrible. Um, yeah, like I'd really like to be nowhere near that. So let's stay over here. Hey, if they go and siege our territory. They're going to be uh, getting holy fire uh, disease on them. That's good. Also, does it bode well for us that uh, when we attacked an enemy, we are now getting uh, holy fire in our home provinces? Like, we're being smited? That doesn't sound good. You know, the whole concept of being smited. Child of my dynasty. Thordis has given birth to a son. Okay, so that's my daughter's uh, son. So that's her grandson, uh, Gandolfer. Okay. Did we lose some ally troops here? I don't think so. Uh, no, she's still in. I was just Oh, there's three armies sitting here. Okay. I was trying to figure out what, what happened there. But no, there are three armies there. My prisoner, Reiko, died in my dungeons. Oh, yeah. Do we have anybody worth having here? No. Okay. So, um, do they have taken war score yet? No. 
Uh, we need to remember to siege all the bits that are outside. Um, yeah, outside of Novgorod, which is going to be a little bit of a problem because usually in CK3 wars, you kind of just want to end it quickly and move on to the next war. Uh, we should be able to reinforce here, right? Yeah, I think we can reinforce if I split my army. Let, let's do that. I'm just trying to get supplies back. I'd really like it if they stopped sitting on top of me so I could get my supplies back. That's okay. They shouldn't be heading to our territory. Let's do a little spying. Let's see, uh, anyone got a hat on? You've got a hat on, perfect. So their troops are here, so they're coming back over. That's what we love to see. Um, King Sigthroth has died of a fatal apoplexy, which is the most common death. I suspect he died because of the holy fire. Uh, okay, he stopped converting the chieftain of Finland due to being dead. I mean, that's fair. We now have King Nud. King Nud does not like us a, a lot, but that's okay. He, he's got other things to worry about, honestly. Defending, defending, defending. War against the tyranny. Yolander Conquest. Chieftain of Vingulmork. And defending for the Uplander Conquest of Vingulmork. Is that my land that they're declaring for? I don't think so. Wait, that's all in... Wait a second, we're Denmark? I was I thought I recognized the um the King Nud. No, it was King Nud of of Denmark. Oh. Yes, he's the guy who we insulted at one point. Oh. All right. Well, um back over here. <laughs> we'll just uh, let our troops reinforce a little bit. Resupply. You let me to be your steward? I mean, like, I'm okay with that. I'd much prefer to be your marshal, honestly, but steward's okay. Extra taxes are not are never bad. Where are your troops? I, you know what I should do, right? I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna mark that guy as a pinned character. I pinned my brother-in-law? Why did I pin my brother-in-law? I probably pinned him for some, like, very important reason, like I was going to do something with him. Oh, he needed to die. That was it. So he didn't inherit this chiefdom. His primary heir is my son. Alright, yeah, yeah, you need to die. Okay, nobody's interested. We'll get back to you in a bit. Um, it's not important, I think, would be the way to describe that one. So now what we can do is we can say, hey, Helgi is here, so now we know where he is. Like, now we know where their army is. Okay. They're sieging. It's fine. Have we reinforced? No, because I didn't actually let time progress. We'll let a little bit more time progress. There we go. Let's have a look for where this guy this guy is. Yes, yeah, so they are definitely moving back over towards us. Perfect. Let's merge here. He's now c converting a different piece of land of ours. Okay. Merge. Um, send proposal. It would please me greatly if you could personally see to little Inga Af... Uh, Siggerder's education until she comes of age. So I would get this person as my ward. So this is your sister. Um, sure, I'll educate your sister. Why not? That seems fine. I mean, you do know she's traveling through the holy fire, right? Eh, whatever. It's not my problem. I'm not there. Uh, to see what my options are. Isolate capital. Ooh, okay. So you can choose to have yourself be isolated so that um, you get plague resistance. Oh. Okay, and these are the same thing. Okay. Oh, no. Enter seclusion is for close family. Capital is for capital. Oh, okay. I think I'm mostly okay with that. I think I don't think I need to worry too much, I, maybe, because most of my family are at war. <laughs> but maybe I do need to worry a little bit. Novgorod's king is dead. Long live Helgi, the new king. Helgi is worse at fighting than the old king. Ah, fantastic. I'm just going to sit here. If you want to walk back and forward, I'll let my I'll let the AI siege. Gurley's first in robing. Uh, so this is my daughter. As I patiently await the fetching of my clothes, the servant stutters, My lord, no one can find your garments. 
I'm surrounded by incompetence, I mutter, storming from my bedchamber. It's in the nursery of my daughter Gurley that I discovered not only my raiment, but also the girl's wet nurse. I had no part in it, my Lee. She dressed herself, Wolf Hilda responds with a giggle. Doesn't say that little scandal, so she's the prince of fashion. Wait, why are we dressed in the... I we're ill clothes. I think it must just be, um... We're, we're in our off-time clothes. Uh, she gets to be princess of fashion or I don't have time for this. Um... I'll name her the Princess of Fashion, lower my stress. Okay. So these guys just want to walk back and forward? I mean, I'm quite happy for you to just wander all around. No laughing matter. The sound of laughter rings down the hallways at court these days. Strange, given the Swedish fire that continues to ravage the countryside. I grab Olafur as he passes and demand to know what's going on. Why, my lord, he begins with a broad grin. It's the latest advice from the physicians. They are sure that Swedish fire is spread by bad moods and grim de demeanors. So, of course, it stands to reason the opposite is true, too. Olafur finishes the statement by predictably bursting into peals of laughter himself. I'm going to say this is utterly ridiculous. Right. Um, wait, did I say three? Oh, we are in three elections. Oh, because we're now in the election for the king of Denmark. Uh, so what was this? My courtier, Jallo. Random dude. It's scheming against my champion. Throw him in jail. I mean, that's where he came from, so. That's fine. Do I get to vote in this one? No. I just get to know that it's happening. Well, that's nice. You think these guys are going to attack? Oh, you're no longer a wet nurse? Okay. That's fine. I think that means they're going around here to attack this side. I think they're going to go down and then around. We'll see, though. I could be wrong. Uh, oh, wet nurse. That's what we need. Uh, yep. Do we have anybody who's good at it? We have somebody who's excellent. Wonderful. Well, that seems good to me. Do we have anything that would help us in war? I mean, bodyguards might. Uh, Master of the horse would be great. However, I think that we need to be king rank or higher, of course. Of course. This is a very, very slow war, by the way. I just gotta say. This is not how I would usually do these. But, I mean, if they're gonna sit there and we need to siege everything, then... I saw them move and I was like... We can't let them break the siege. The way of the spear. The endless clash of metal on metal, the chafing of armor, the sting of sweat, is a dance that is familiar as it is exhausting. To couch my spear, attack, dodge, defend, and repeat. Maybe it would do me good to practice my skills with another weapon. So I get respected ex expert with the spear, or I can try and end the monotony and hand me another weapon. No, I'll get respected ex expert. Inga has arrived. Fantastic. So we now have 40 prowess. That's incredible. How long have you got on your siege? 38 days. Alright, well, we'll keep waiting. They're not going to get here in 38 days, so that's okay. Hey, we got the siege. That's what we're after. We need a guardian for Gurley. Gurley, what are you doing? Uh, that's right, a learning education. That's, that's, that's what I saw there, right? You're going to be educated by this person. Wonderful. Right. Um, now we need to think about things a little bit. So obviously this bit of land is good. So you're gonna siege here next. How was this? Did this have the base level hold? It did. So we can kind of say that it's gonna take about as long to do the next one. I'm just gonna move along a little bit. They have 700 troops. Holy moly! I think we can win. Don't get me wrong. I think we can beat the 700 troops. I'm just a little worried about doing it without our allies. Bad air over Finland. Swedish fire has devastated the people of Finland. My caravan master, Asa, informs me that the local tribe and produce has completely dried up as people wallow in their homes and in streets awaiting Hell's call. She blames the plague on bad air surrounding the dead and dying and proposes that countering it with a vast field of violets would do much to dispel this bad air and slow the spread of the disease. So we can get abundant flora. Or what a waste of gold. I guess I'll pay the money. I mean, that's fine. I have a lot of money. I love the peasants revolt appearing and then my allies are like, oh, time to fight a peasants revolt. Alright, we need to head down here. I would love to fight in this province. Or in that province. To be honest, either province would do. I would love to fight here. Fight me. 
please commit they're committed wonderful malingering scent in times like these it's best to be wary of any strange smells this one however emanates from the corner of the market square and it is positively fragrant get your sachets here only the freshest and best herbs used the crafty merchant stall is, was covered in various aromatics and she holds a pouch filled with them in each hand as she as she hawks the wares she notices me and extends one for me to try I'm not uh, here okay now that that might explain some things okay that's fine um, well one for me to try only the best my lord keep you right safe from the Swedish fire it will I pluck the sachet from the pro proffered hand it does seem like something that would keep the miasma away Mm. Well, we can try and negotiate. I'll try and negotiate. Why not? She refuses to budge, but we still bought it. Okay. Well, that's fine. Attack me. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, okay, when this starts, they will join in, hopefully. Come on. Turn, turn around. There we go. <laughs> there we go. We're getting there. For some reason, he's the defender, not us. But that's fine, I think. We're still going to be absolutely great because our troops are in there, as are we. I mean, we're probably in this as a um, champion, right? No? Alright, well, whatever. We should be. I don't know why it chose them to be number one, then. Anyway, whatever. We still win. We have a lot of good champions. We have defeated them. Wonderful. Uh, engineered for destruction. Makes siege weaponry better. Actually, that doesn't help us at all, because uh, we don't have any um, siege weapons. Yes. Hmm. Yeah, that is a problem. I'm going to take it anyway. Can I buy some siege weapons? Nope. Alright then. <laughs> that was worth quite a lot, right, though, in war score? Yeah, it was worth a reasonable amount. I do need to siege a little bit of Novgorod, though. Uh, if we could. Maybe I want to go to Jarlslavl and then head up to that one afterwards. Let's see if we can get them to follow us. That's a level 3. No, I don't want to go there. Maybe How about Tavir? Yeah, let's head here. Let's see if I can get our allies to follow us. Okay. So that should let, let us get right next to where we need to go next. Because we need to get uh, taking war score to neutral. Okay, so this is where I want to siege. Five months left. Okay. This is fine. If we can get through the walls, that would be ideal. We'll see, though. We'll see. Three months left. Not that I think there are any walls here, but whatever. Three months left. Okay. Oh, that was good. We got a little jump. We got a good event. Our liege is about to lose a battle. Or, yeah, lose a war. We got it. Okay. Uh, I've been appointed Master of the Hunt. Oh, that's nice. I can now vote in the Kingdom of Sweden. Uh, who are you voting for? You're voting for Nupa? I will... Uh, wait, who's winning? Nobody. Everyone's voting for each other. I, I vote for Nupa. We do what our liege wants to do because we, uh, well, we just kind of want to not be a part of this. Uh, Nupa. There we go. That's fine. Uh, how long's this got on it? Three months. Let's, let's come back and make sure we get this siege. Child of my dynasty, Thordis has given birth to a son. The son is frail. That just won't do. How long has that got left? Three months. Okay. Do I want to split my army? Maybe. Split, send one there. We merge. <laughs> merge. Make sure we're leading. <laughs> Just seeing their army appear in, in, in the uh, distance. This is going to be a good amount of uh, land that we're going to siege here. 20 days left. They shouldn't break their siege at any point here. We should be committed. We need to attack them afterwards, but... Right. Um, attack. Let's uh, let's go this way and attack. 
Uh, yeah, okay, so go here. The reason I want to go down is because I want them to follow me. Our acquaintance died, we won the siege. Okay. Head up here. I would love to face that army. Okay, we're committed to going the direction we're going. That's fine. And then charge straight in here. They're going to split. It's fine, keep chasing. Our allies are chasing us, which is good. We're going to catch their army separated. We're leading. Perfect. So, their army actually just left as well on the same day we arrived, which is great. So we have much, much better troops against a much worse opponent, which is good. These guys are going to arrive in 7 days. Their guys are going to arrive in 11 days. So our reinforcements arrive first. So they're, they're losing. Our reinforcements arrive. They continue losing. Their reinforcements arrive. They continue losing. And we have now completely destroyed them here. Nice. We can ransom this guy for 21 gold. I will ransom you for 21 gold. Right. So this is the last piece of land on this side that we need to siege that isn't Novgorod. And then we need to also siege this bit down here. Um, Do we take it? Like this? Oh no, we also need to get this bit up here as well. I completely missed it. Yeah, okay. Um, I think that's going to take a little bit longer. Uh, I'm wondering whether we want to siege this first. It will also take a little bit longer, but yeah, I do want to siege this first. Just to stop taking war score, because that's a little bit of a problem for us. Especially as we can no longer get any war score from uh, battles. Which is what's currently propping us up here, is all this war score from battles. Okay. Head on in. Head on over. They will be able to come back quicker than last time. Uh, but that's okay. The reason they'll be able to come back quicker is they'll physically be closer. Our liege won a war. I would really like it if you weren't sitting here, if, I, if that's okay with you. But okay. Never mind. It doesn't matter. Chronicler. A legend found. My champion hawker hurriedly excited... Uh, hurries excitedly to greet me as I enter court. My Jarl, I have searched the records and found some information that would indicate that your line can be traced all the way back to the great Trojan dynasties. Really? I, I, I can be traced back to the Hellenic heritage dynasties? Really? Okay. Some people might find this a little bit far-fetched, but it would take some... And it would take some effort to prove it to be true, but there is strong groundwork there to make you a living legend. Excellent work. So I could then do something with this. I can, I can do this right now. Okay, so this Gothic Kings one required us to be at King rank. This one does not. What does it give us? It gives us renown and renown per month. It gives us stewardship if we if for promote it gives so it gives promoters stewardship, and then it gives baronies development growth. Do we want to commit to this? It's quite a lot per month. Hmm. I mean, we could. Yeah, we could do a little. But you know what? Sure. Uh, create Trojan descendant. Okay, I love how we can be like, it's our father. Why would we want to do that? You gain 20 additional legitimacy. Ah, if we choose somebody who has certain things, you can get more legitimacy off of it. Okay. 50% chance to gain access to the legendary palace option in the clear grounds for a legendary building decision. Alright, I mean, that's pretty good. You get a claim on every existing de jure title inside the Yardom of Norland. Alright. You'll gain access to the Commission Legend Artifact Decision, allowing you to commission a chronicle uh, to commemorate your legend. You gain a bunch of legitimacy in that. That's if you finish it famed. Lustrious, you expand the Kingdom Decision, allowing you to immediately de jure drift a duchy title into your realm? Ooh! What about Mythical? Gain access to the consolidate. Yeah, you get the legendary palace. You may select heritage and language from your legendary culture. When you diverge your culture, what? So we could select the Hellenic language. 
Oh, that is something that we'll come back to. All right, I'm gonna leave that because I want to succeed if we do it. I don't, I don't want to like you know half do that. I want to commit. So that's what we're gonna do. They're, they're, you're really gonna attack down there. It's so annoying. All right, let's go join the siege. We have to break our siege and join this siege because the AI won't do likewise. Write a passage. All right, which child needs to be uh, tortured this time? It's uh, Rikiza. All right, she's a craven. She's a zealous craven. Hmm. All right. Uh. I guess we're gonna go for scarification. Yeah, maybe. The Norse of my tribe gather to watch the sacri the scarification uh, rite with the smoke of sacred herbs uh, thick in the air, and my Hofgothi Olafer begins the ceremony. Those assembled fall silent. He unsheaths the ritual blade. Here, Rikiza of the Ostur atones the holy man, shall be marked and hewn, riven by pain. When we look on her in days to come, we shall see conviction, we shall see she is a woman. So to wear the proof is to no pride. There's a chance he gets martial lifestyle experience or martial. Okay. Can this just be symbolic? Okay. Uh, or uh, she's not yet ready. Um, To wear the proof is to no pride. She gains scarred but gets 300 martial lifestyle experience. Okay. That's fine. Just joining you for this siege. Hope you don't uh, mind. The sermon. Today, Olafur held a fiery sermon for all of the children of the court. They were apparently spellbound as he zealously read from the heroic sagas. I don't think he zealously read from anything, personally, but, you know, whatever. My ward Inga keeps telling me about how much she enjoyed the passages about Loki and how he is someone whose ideals she will aspire to emulate. Um, hmm, okay. Chance she can be sadistic or ambitious? Well... Having no scruples will serve her well. You can be sadistic. I don't know what these guys are doing, but we're going to let them do it. Okay, our allies have now decided to abandon us and to siege the land that we were sieging. I guess, they, yeah, they left a small number here. Okay, that's fine. We are going to win this, which is going to get us ticking war score. Nice. We now have ticking war score. Which is great. Or, sorry... We don't have taking war score. We took away theirs, which now means they lost it, which is the more important thing. So now we need to siege this and this, and we're done in the war. Okay. I would love for you guys to fight me. Please come and fight me. You know what? You're starving. I'm going to fight you. They, they, they're starving, so they're, they're going to be absolutely awful troops. We're going to destroy them. You're already destroying them with just us. Fa Independence faction created against our Jarl. Our neighbors are winning battles. Okay, so we're winning, and then our allies join us. And we continue to be winning. Okay, that's pretty good. We captured another person who's worth 50 gold. Wonderful. Funding our children's educations literally is, is kind of what's happening here. Head down here. Are we starving? Hopefully not. We are starving. Uh, head back here. Hopefully th they'll take the hint. That's fine. Oh, what, what's happened? My counselor died. He drank himself to death. At the same time, Helgi uh, just died in captivity. Okay. I need a new steward. Our new steward is going to be... Well, for now, it's going to be... Hawker. I think it could be Hawker. Yeah, it's going to be Hawker. That's fine. Uh, arrange betrothal. Jarl Barrett would like to marry Rikiza. Barrett of Canock. Uh, I don't see any reason to say no. There's really no reason for her to be in our court. I accept. Okay. Hey, um, you want to join my war? Okay. I mean, another 1.6k troops couldn't hurt. Right, let's split our army up, uh, and then we're just gonna like let ourselves um, resupply for a second or two. 
There we go. The only reason we split up is not because we don't have enough supply limit here. It's because the AI is very bad with uh, giving you a little bit of privacy. The, the AI is like, I'm going to sit on top of you the whole time. Which means that your um, army is actually larger than it seems. A courtier between friends. My vassal chieftain Olafur has honoured me for a visit and has brought one of his courtiers along. Olafur approaches me excitedly. Well met, your all high singer. It pleases me to see the you thriving here in Halsing land. It occurs to me that Ingfrid here might be of service in your court. She is an incredibly talented steward, seemingly touched by Midas. I would make use of her myself, but alas, it doesn't seem possible. I would hate to see your great talent go to waste. Why don't you take her in and unleash her potential? Um, sure, why not? You know what? You can be the last concubine that we need to fill. Uh, as in the position on our court. Wonderful. Uh, that now means that we should have extra prestige from that. Or, wait, under concubine limit? How can we be under the concubine limit? We have the max number. That shouldn't, that should not be possible. Alright, we'll find out in a second. Um... All right, we can remerge. I think. No, we can't. Uh, well, these guys could remerge. These ones can't because they didn't actually get to uh, reinforce properly. Called to become regent. It's all self-evident. It or it's self-evident to all in the kingdom. It's self-evident to all the kingdom of Denmark that my liege, King Nud, cannot shoulder the burdens of rule by himself, not without causing irreparable harm to our lands. Though the duty is not expected to last long, someone must mind the realm, arbitrating disputes and keeping the throne warm for King Nud as regent. Uh, why is he not suitable? I don't know. Uh, I can say our recognition or have so many ideas for the realm. Okay. I guess we're our liege's regent. I mean, sure. Uh, I can swing the scales towards us. We could try and entrench it at some point, but... um. Let's do some swinging of the scales. Uh, we will leverage prestige to swing the scales. Wait, are we only regent because he's traveling? Yeah, we're only regent because he's traveling. What do you mean um, he's not suitable to lead? <laughs> Literally, the only reason why um, we're in this situation is because he's off traveling. <laughs> oh, It's not that he's, you know, become incapable. I was like, oh, it's a huge opportunity for us. No, it isn't. <laughs> He's, he just went on holiday. I can try and steal from my liege. My stewardship is terrible, though. I'll fail. All right. Let's not do that. Ah, I need to defeat this army again. I would love it if we could wipe this army at some point, because it'll make our life a lot easier. Are you in any other wars, by the way? No, oh, just our war, huh? Okay. You're also starving already. Wow, can I catch your army? Not quite, but I can catch them in Jarl in the other side of Jarlslav. I thought they were coming to fight me for a second. I, that would have been so good. Also, um, there's the uh, Irish coming over to help us. Right, we're chasing their army. We're going to catch them here. They are going to get slaughtered. Well, that, that group that we caught first got slaughtered. Um, the, oh, that's the previous war. Oh, that was the previous battle. Yeah, we lost 20, they lost 800. Now we're landing onto the uh, second fight, and they're going to lose a lot more. Mysteries of the Heroic Sagas. My ward Inga and her little friend Gunhildr ha had taken a copy of the Heroic Sagas from the study and brought it into the playroom. Inga tr tried to read it, but quickly realized the words therein were best left for the Guthar. She seems completely content with her current inability to understand the deeper meanings of the book. I'm happy for her to be content. She's not my child. We've lost our wet nurse. Okay. We will now put in Bodo as the only option. Right. We're landing into this uh, battle. We, uh, I believe, just wiped them. Yes. Uh, they. Well, maybe? No, I think... No, they have a few troops left, but not nearly as many as they started with. Can I head up um, here? Yeah, I'd love to siege this now. What if I head to the... Yeah, what if I head here, here, here? 
Let's do that. Is that... Wait. No, wait. Do I need to see... Wait, cancel? I need to see Jaroslav as well, right? Yeah. Let's head here. <laughs> okay. New Marshall Perk. Living off the land. That at least means our supply capacity is higher if we uh, can ever reinforce up to it. Or resupply up to it. And use the right terms. We can challenge Jarl Invar or Jarl Ivar to a trial by combat. Why? Why would I want to? <laughs> He's an adulterer. Okay. No, I think we're I think we're fine. Uh, eleven months left. Have I got a siege leader? I have somebody I could recruit who's a siege leader. Well, welcome to the team. Right. You will lead the siege. And then we'll switch when it comes back to, um, yeah, we'll, we'll switch when, um, when they start attacking us again. My spies have informed me about a hunter causing a ruckus at the local tavern. The man has been spending large amounts of gold and bragging loudly about the great deal he struck with a fancy lord in pearls and silk. Apparently he drew a map of the local taiga for an unknown nobleman. The spies think the lord must be scheming against me or one of my subjects. Well... This one is because somebody is scheming against us, and here, because we're sadistic, we gain dread, we can expose his malicious scheme, and we kill him. That seems good to me. Murder, you were trying to murder Ear Af Kendall. Um, alright. I have no idea why somebody was trying to murder her, but whatever. Right, back to our siege. Six months left. They do have some troops running around, but that's okay. Liege has gone to war with Jarland. What's the war for? Uh, Danish conquest. All right. I mean, that's fine. Keep, uh, yeah, keep the war going here. Five months left. They're probably going to try and de-siege some land, although they're in the wrong... I guess they're going to try and de-siege that land. Yeah, maybe. Four months left. I would love to win the siege and then go and deal with them. That would be so much better for us. Okay, I heard the beep and almost did the um, automatic. Oh yeah, I'll just end the war thing there. No, we cannot end the war. We have to take this land and this land. Ah, uh, what what I wouldn't give for CK2 system at this point, where you can tell the AI go siege that land while I go siege this land. <laughs> Uh, CK3 is much more of a, uh, we're all together in this kind of thing. We're all going to do exactly the same thing, so you can't have split uh, war stuff with your um, allies. We have yet another granddaughter. This one is my daughter's daughter, Loth. Okay. We're going to have to do some trimming of the family at some point, but that's okay. Is it love? I can scarce remember what life was like before Mila declared her feelings for me. Those days seem so bleak, so dreary, but with her by my side, everything and anything suddenly seems possible. I wish I could go on like this forever, but deep down I know I must make my choice. Am I brave enough to give in to my feelings, or must I shut my heart to Mila forever? Um, she could become my soulmate? Yeah, sure, why not? She's my soulmate. Intruder. Crash, where am I? What's going on? I peer into the darkness, eyes adjusting. Odin, there is someone by my bedroom window. I scramble out of bed, reaching for the dagger on the nightstand. The intruder grabs my arms, tugged, and I spin around, sinking the blade deep into her stomach. She looks at me for an endlessly long moment, her lips moving without a sound. Then she falls to the ground. Hi, singer, are you all right? At the window stands none other than Mila, blade in hand, ready to defend me. I throw myself into her arms and she holds me tight. She becomes my soulmate and she lays with us. All right. We've defeated their army once more. They lost another thousand troops. Wow. And we captured another couple of people. Neither of which are that good. Okay. Uh, can I get here without taking attrition? I can. I would love to siege here if we can. Let me just go speed five for a second here. Let ourselves move over. Right. How long is this going to take? Eight months? We'll stay at speed five. I don't think their army's a risk anymore. So I'm happy to let this just go at full speed. Uh, okay, some people are already dead in my dungeons. That's fine. What? Why did the war end? 
I guess the war ended. What? <laughs> um, I thought that would make me independent. Wait a second. I thought it said it also gave me the kingdom of Novgorod. I made a horrible mistake. Okay. Um, is it cause she, is it cause he died? And it was at a hundred percent. Maybe the, you're only allowed to have it a hundred percent for a certain number of months. When did she inherit? She inherited the kingdom of Novgorod. No, so that was many months. Maybe you're only allowed to be a hundred percent for a year. I could believe that. Maybe you're not meant. Maybe you're not allowed to do that anymore. I was also a hundred percent certain we were getting the kingdom, but um, I, I guess that's not the case. We did get legitimacy though and fame. We have legitimacy level has risen to level two, which is nice. Um, yeah, our vassals approve. Yeah, okay. Uh, we did get quite a lot of the land outside. We're just missing these two bits of land. I thought we got the Kingdom of Novgorod as a title, but maybe not. Maybe you only got that if you got all the land. Huh. Anyway, um, the war is over. One way or another, the war is over. Uh, nominate successor for Sweden. I vote me. I'm not allowed to vote me. Who are you voting for? You're voting for Hel Helgi? Yeah, I'll vote for Helgi. Who's he who's Helgi? Um, I don't know. Um, He's probably one of these people who has votes already on him. That would make sense. Is his name really Hel... Helgi Sagason of Lan Lancashire. Apparently, I'm not allowed to vote for that guy. That's um, that's going to be a real problem in terms of voting for him. Oh no, there he is. He just doesn't have any votes. Oh okay. Despite having votes, that's fine. I vote for him. We're now 11 above our domain limit, <laughs> uh, which is only a problem for a year. It's not the end of the world. That's only a problem for a year. Our realm will lose land if this guy dies. Our realm will lose land if a lot of people die here. We got some problems. Uh, Helgi is dead. Um, yeah. Oh, that's the guy we were using to track where they were. Okay. I'm thinking about our best course of action here. How strong is Sweden busy? No. That's a problem. If Sweden was busy, we had an easy answer here. Declare independence. Can I create? Can I usurp the kingdom of Novgorod? No. Because it's higher than the primary title of my liege. I also have the other things required. Um, that's fine. Hmm. I guess we would simply want to create an independence faction. I'm not allowed to do that because he's my ally. Okay. Um, why did I make wait? Barrett the Beautiful of Sweden. What? What? I haven't been paying attention. When did we become Sweden and not Denmark again? <laughs> so Denmark died in September, four years ago. Wait, no, no. He died one month ago, eight days ago. Okay, which then split. Denmark and uh, Sweden again. Okay. So how do I have an alliance with you? Because he's the Jarl of Canock. <laughs> what? He, okay, because okay, he's he was the Jarl over here. Of course, that makes perfect sense. Um... Can I break our alliance? I can break the betrothal. Alright, that would break the alliance. Alright, well, you know what I think we're going to do? I think we're going to end the episode there and I'm going to think about it a little bit. Um, I was sure it said we were going to be independent, but maybe I just didn't read it properly. Um, yeah, well, I didn't say we were going to be independent. I'm sure it said we were going to get the title of Novgorod, but maybe uh, it didn't. It's the best I can go with there. Well, that's okay. That's okay. 
It might have said we're getting the de jure title of Novgorod, or it might have said we're getting all de jure titles within Novgorod, and I must have assumed that that meant that we were getting the title of Novgorod. That could be true. Anyway, uh, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.